Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I'm starting off this video barefaced. I have all my skincare done, but I thought that I would do a foundation wear test because I've recently gotten a lot of new makeup with the holidays just having passed, and one of the foundations that I got was the Fenty foundation. I know a lot of people either really seem to love or hate this foundation, so I wanted to try it out for the first time today and do a wear test throughout the day for you guys so you can kind of see how it works for me. If you're interested in seeing how all that goes, just keep watching. Okay, so I got the primer and the foundation. I can already tell you that the foundation is gonna be too dark for me. Um, it's more of what I would be in summer. Right now it's winter, so obviously I'm not as tan as I would be in summer, but it's fine, we're fine. It doesn't bother me. I'm like kind of lazy when it comes to makeup in that if I get a foundation, that is not the right shade, but it's not like terribly off. I generally don't care, so that's just me. I know it really bothers some people, but it doesn't bother me. I'm gonna go ahead with the primer. This is what it looks like. I'm sure you've all seen it by now. I'm gonna give this a good shake. The foundation on the back says that you're supposed to shake it, but I wanted to shake this too, just in case. And I'm gonna take some onto my fingers. I'm gonna do two pumps. Then I'm just gonna spread this around my face like I would with literally any other primer. I like the smell of this. It's got like a light scent, but it smells really nice. It feels moisturizing almost. Like I know it's supposed to be a matte primer, but it feels really good. I thought about doing the foundation, like half of my face with a sponge and the other half with a brush, but I really prefer to put my foundation on with a sponge, so I'm not even gonna mess around with putting it on with a brush. I know that there are probably plenty of wear tests or tutorials of people putting this on using a brush, so I'm not super worried about it. I'm gonna just take a pump to start with on the beauty sponge. This is a lot more liquidy than I thought it would be. So like I said, not my color. Although it may match my arms once we're all done. Probably not. It'll be closer to my arms than it is to my neck and chest. My neck and chest are always like the palest part of my body, so it's already working to our disadvantage. Okay, I'm gonna take another pump right onto the sponge again. I have a feeling that I'm going to like this foundation because I do have oilier skin. From the videos that I've watched, it seems like people with dry skin really do not like this foundation, but people with oily skin really do. So I have a good feeling about it, but we'll see. Also, let me know if you guys like um, these wear tests because I have two more foundations that I am thinking about doing it with. I just got the Revlon Color Stay Foundation for oil control and the Milani um, like two-in-one concealer foundation, foundation, whatever it's called. So I kind of want to do wear tests for those, but if you guys don't like them, then I probably won't. So just let me know in the comments below what you think and that'll help me decide if I want to do one of those or not. So I will say about this, it doesn't blend super easy. It's not like the worst in the world, but it's not like, wow, that was so easy to put on. I'm gonna go in with another pump to cover my neck area so we can at least look like we're one color. I'm gonna go in with another pump for the center of my face. I feel like it's medium coverage right now and I want it to be a little bit more. So I'm gonna go back in with a little bit. All right, you guys, so I have the foundation on. Looking in a mirror, it's definitely medium coverage. If I wanted it to be completely full coverage, I'd probably put on one more coat, but I'm not like mad about it. I'm pretty all right with how my skin is without makeup on, so I don't necessarily feel like I need, like must have full coverage. It does look really nice though. It looks really, really smooth. My pores don't look as big, so that's definitely nice. I do wish it was my actual color, but 
like I said, not that upset about it. The only thing I don't like so far is that it was really, really hard to blend it all into the skin. Um, it was one of those foundations where it just like, I don't know if it was actually drying or if it is just a little bit more stubborn to move around. Getting it to blend completely and not have any like weird patches where you could tell that a sponge had been, you know, dotting it onto my face. That was a little bit hard, but I do really like how this looks right now. So I am going to finish up my makeup, then I will check in with you guys in a few hours, but for you, it'll be right now, so. Okay, you guys, so here is the look that I came up with today. Obviously, my base is the Fenty Foundation. Everything went on my face so smoothly and flawlessly. Like, this might be a holy grail foundation for me. It's only been an hour and a half. I started my makeup at noon. That's when I put the foundation and primer on. It's 1.30 now, so I will continue to do some check-ins throughout the day, and I'll let you guys know how it's gonna go. I'm not gonna be checking in on this camera. I'll be using my iPhone. Phone. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned in like a few seconds, but it's a few hours. I feel like Tati. I'm like, really, it's just gonna be a few seconds, but for me, it'll be a few hours, but it's fine. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, so I am at home right now and it is about four o'clock. Um, I've had this foundation on for about four hours now, so I thought I would do kind of like a halfway point check-in. It still looks so good. I'm like a little bit shiny, but like not in a bad way, just in that way when foundation has kind of been sitting on your skin for a little bit and it goes to a more natural finish once it mixes in with your oils. So I am loving how this looks. My pores are still looking pretty good compared to um, how they normally look at this point with other foundations. So Yeah, I'm really really happy with how this is going and I will check back in with you guys around 8 or 9 tonight Hey guys, so it's about 8 30 right now And I thought I would do my last check-in for the day because I typically take off my makeup around this time I think that overall the foundation lasted really well throughout the day I definitely do look oily in my cheek area now I haven't touched up all day long so I'm looking a little oily in the cheeks and in the center of the forehead I definitely will continue to use this foundation I think I'll try to use other primers with it because I did use the Fenty primer I'm curious as to if the foundation is gonna perform differently with different primers overall I am happy with how it looked throughout the day the main thing for me was that it looked super smooth for like the first, I wanna say four-ish hours, and my makeup went on over top of it so, so nicely. Looking a little hit right now because it's the end of the day, but whatever. So I'm going to leave this video off here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know below if you did or not so I know whether or not to continue these videos. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.